Welcome to Fishy Saturday. I'm gonna introduce you to a few tanks that I have that I enjoy doing. It's part of mental health. I enjoy taking care of creatures. And the first one is my first freshwater stingray. It's a female, her name is Ray. And she's just chilling, she just got ate, just got fed. My next one is called a Kissy Face because little lips and that's how he kisses the glass. He's another one of my favorites. Let's move over to the bigger tank. So you got C here, 180 gallon tank. There's a uh, Arowana, which is Isabel. Then we call this guy right here, maybe the smallest, but is the aggressive, the little bastard, right? For just the name because he picks on everybody else. Now as you move over to this side, you can see you got a lot of different fish. A tiger shovel nose, the guy with the big fan, he's my red tail, I call him the bully. And the reason why he's called the bully is because he comes out and eats all the food for anybody else eats the food. Now as we move over to this side, as you can see, I got a smaller tank and I got a pair of fish. Big Bird, those that were um, born in the 80s and 90s when it stands, Sesame Street, so he's here. He's just in a quarantine tank. I just got him a couple of days ago. Now we got a guy called Tiny Tam. He's right, look at him. Little small guy. This is actually um, a sea bass, one of my fish. So these guys are gonna go from here to this tank in time. As you guys see, a couple people there. Well, as I move upstairs and downstairs, I got another guy, beta fish. He's called Shy. So that's one of my smaller tanks, 2.5 gallons. But I keep him in here by himself. Chill, eats the fish. Nice fish, but eats little pellets and he's just a chill guy. Now, as you go over here to a different tank, so as you can see, this is a planted tank. What's in here is not everybody's name, but you got shrimp, they're hanging out eating, got a flag tail guy here, and up to the top, I got cleaning glass, is another betta fish. So he's right there hanging out, they've all been fed. Now, as I move over to my bigger tank, you can see here. 40 gallons and there's Jack, my electric blue Jack Dempsey. Love him. There's another guy right in there. It's a Pleco, no name, but Tiger Pleco. As I move to the other side and above, I'm gonna be a parent. Those are snail legs. So I don't know how it's gonna look in a couple of weeks, but I will find out soon. And I have another snail in here. Just kind of see, ah, there he is chilling out there. Hanging out, just on a glass, probably sleep. So that is my fish room. And these are the fish that I choose to use as my mental health. Just take a breather, take care of different creatures. Now you guys can see my fish room. I got about seven tanks total, but six are actually up and running. And I have one quarantine tank you saw earlier, new fish coming in. So anytime you get a fish, you always got to quarantine it, make sure it doesn't get sick, doesn't have any diseases, because you don't want to kill the rest of the fish, right? You have other tanks up and running. And just you want to observe their behavior, right? People like fish are just different, right? Every fish, regardless of if you've gotten the species more than once, will be different. Different behaviors, way they eat. You know, you notice my two big catfish, the red tail guy called Bully and the shovel nose. Two different kind of species of fish and two different personalities. The Bully, he's everything. His hands on, doesn't matter how big it is. A couple days ago, I overfed him, he ate it. The shovel nose only eats pellets. He kind of goes for that, so... He, he's not, he is a picky eater, but as you can see, people and, and fish are almost the same. We're all are different, we're all unique, and we can be the same species, but we just do things different. So, thank you for another fishy mental health Saturday, and tune in for more videos.